You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. What would you like to ask Alex? So um, I'm 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 uh, really impressed that he was obsessed by by um, uh, since since being a child, and I think my child will also be like that, <laughs> just because of what we've been through for the last couple of couple of years. And I think what bothers um, Alex is uh, probably why this is created, which is, you know, like I wake up in the middle of the night, why is this happening? Yeah, the, the same thing. That's why I think he's geared on the genetic testing so much. So yeah. um, I am, a, you know, I'm a single parent with a small child and went through all this stuff. Um, 2019 had a, a lump discovered, lumpectomy. They did that and they, it was not clear. Uh, so they uh, recommended the, um, um, to take the whole breast off. I said, okay, take both of them, you know, just keep them. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and then, um, and, and then I went through a few discussions back and forth with the oncologist. I'm an IT person, so I'm naturally very many questions. <laughs> right. So, uh, they recommended the standard eight treatments, ACT. So I was back and forth. No, 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 no. Like there's so much risk to it. And um, uh, I don't want to live for five years. I want another 50. Uh, so, so I want to, um, to do this. So they finally uh, recommended the four treatment, the DC only. Um, okay. So I had those ones. And um, after that, I had a scare that they discovered the tumor in the brain. Um, awesome. Fortunately, it was not uh, cancerous, but um, oh, anyway, okay. going through that. Yeah, so that's really great. Um, yeah. But still, yeah. Uh, still, it was a month of craziness. Uh, yeah. so yeah. after, after that kind of pushed me, which I didn't want to do is the radio uh, radiation. So I opted for that one too. I said, okay, might as well do bang, bang, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I did do the PET scan. They yeah. didn't discover anything at the PET scan. Um, I had, uh, you know, one of your friends, Dr. Klimo, um, arrange that for me. Wonderful. Great. Yes. So do you know that he re just retired? Yes, month? I do. Yes. yes. Yeah. Wonderful. It, it, huge loss to the oncology community. I agree. He, he's, he's, one of, he's the, one of the most amazing oncologists I've ever worked. I've learned so much from him and it's just been such a treat to work with him all this time. It's very, and to be, very and sad. To be, and hope, hopefully we can get him on our board or, you know, hopefully we can continue and, and uh, to working be so, with him in and, some and, manner. Yeah. And to be so old and to have such an open mind and know so oh, many things is amazing. amazing. You know, he's like, he's yeah, just yeah. an amazing person altogether. Yeah. So, so, so now, so, so, so I did the radiation. So now I'm on a tamoxifen for about a year and a half. Okay. And um, I'm guessing that they will put me on that let result soon. I am worried um, constant. So I did the color genetic testing, which was the smallest one available that I could pay for okay. uh, right away. And they discovered a check two gene was there. Okay. okay. So um, and now I'm, you know, like in the long term, I'm worried because I had a couple of friends that went through all this medication and the mm -hmm. chemo and the this, and you know, mm -hmm. eight years later, it came back and it's everywhere and they're gone. Yeah. Okay. So I'm really worried for, you know, like how can I, what can I check constantly or what can I put something in my mind to, to make sure that, uh, because it seems that all these drugs, they're not available. Every time I ask something about the doctors, mm -hmm. oh, it's like uh, Michelle is saying, oh, we're not doing this, oh, we're not doing right. that. Right. The, the system is not geared to that. Right. There's so much medication. Like I was with my friend that after eight years in remission, they said in remission, 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 everything good. And after eight years, it came back and died in three months. Yeah. And I yeah. was there with the doctor and I said, like, but can you not do something? Like it is so much there that yes. anything, no, we can't do anything. We can't do anything. And they didn't do anything. Right. Um, so are you, are you with um, uh, Dr. Klimo's new, new doctor, Dr. Yusuf? Um, no, not yet. I was, okay. um, he's yeah, wonderful I, too. He's, he's, an, he's like a new Dr. Klimo. Um, he really is amazing. So I highly recommend you see him. So, okay. Um, you, yeah. How old I are just, you? I'm old? Um, 52 now. 52. And so you're diagnosed at 49, was it? Yes. Okay. So that's on the border. Um, understandably you have a check two mutation. So that's important to know. 
Oh, um, and my oncotype test was 32%, 32, so that was 32. like quite so high, they, yes. So you yeah. definitely want to get chemo. Chemo definitely can be uh, a benefit. And, you know, once again, um, if you are going to get chemo, make sure you go through the cardioprotective strategy. If you I, just I did it already. I did it already. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah, okay. not, not much. But I opted for the for the four sessions only the dc okay. instead of what they what they suggested the gotcha. act yeah yeah that's that's fine okay uh now you and you're having mop up radiation too correct i did that already i okay, did uh, right. uh, the uh, okay. five weeks or something like that and, and so you're on and you're on tamoxifen now now you're you're what's your menopausal status right now so it's uh, since the chemotherapy it's gone like it's it stopped okay. yeah yeah okay so um, I would definitely get on Zomata. Okay. Um, I think that's just a good thing to take regardless. So what about the other alternative? You said that there is a better drug than tamoxifen. Um, yeah, uh, fulvestron. It's only um, available right now for metastatic. Oh. And that's the problem. Um, you know, so, you know, that is the issue. I think in your particular case, what the best thing for you is gonna be is to get tumor DNA sequencing. Now we have a tumor DNA sequencing lab. So I'm sure if you, um, if you, you know, chat Michelle up, she can help you get that arranged. Maybe she can work out some sort of, you know, plan for you or something. Um, but I think it's really important you get tumor DNA sequencing because with your check two mutations, there's probably some other targeted therapies. You may have a PIK 3CA mutation. Um, I think it's really important to know your status yeah. Uh, in your particular case. And then also what you can do with that too is um, you can do something called a, a monitoring liquid biopsy. Um, so we have this liquid biopsy panel that, or what we can do is we can look at the mutations you have. And let's say you have a PIK3CA mutation. Um, what we'll do, we know that's only gonna be in your tumor. So we know that it's representative of your tumor. Every one of your tumor cells will have one copy of that mutation. So we can look at the level of that mutation in your blood and determine whether you're responding to treatment or whether that particular um, uh, mutation is um, is coming back. So let's say let's say you're you're let's say you're completely clear and your PET CT is completely clear and we do we test the level of this mutation using our liquid biopsy and we see that it's at two percent. Then we know that somewhere in your body is a group of tumors. Uh, tumor cells, they haven't quite formed a big, big enough solid tumor to be seen on a PET CT because imaging can only detect tumors down to the millimeter range. And, you know, a millimeter is a lot of tumor cells. So um, you want to catch it when it's really, really early, when tumors are very treatable. So when a tumor is just a small group of tumor cells, just about anything will kill it. Um, when it's a large tumor, then obviously there's all kinds of conditions such as the size of the tumor, inability for the drugs to get inside of the tumor that are going to be a problem. And even a tumor that's, you know, half a centimeter, uh, certain drugs are not going to be able to penetrate it to the inner core of that tumor. So catching a tumor when it's a small group of cells using a liquid biopsy that recognizes the amount of a certain tumor mutation um, is really the best way. So tumor DNA sequencing, monitoring with liquid biopsies, and then of course, PET CT, if the liquid biopsy is positive. Okay. Um, so what I understand from what you're saying, yeah, so from what I understand, uh, what you're saying is that because the cancer got created in the first place and yeah. there is a gene mutation there, uh, the body seems to create it and will probably create it again, eventually. Yeah. Um, the one thing about cancers that are caused by something like a check 2 mutation, uh, which is an inherited mutation in your case, um, they tend to be a little weaker than cancers that occur spontaneously. So usually the treatment works a little better for a little longer. Um, and that's because they have a bit of an Achilles heel in that check 2 mutation. Mm. So I it, it no, will cause have... the cancer to be more aggressive and to come on sooner, but it's also more susceptible to standard chemotherapy and standard treatments. So you're probably gonna be fine for quite a while, but you wanna be on top of that and you wanna know your genetics. So you know, you have a plan in place, should it come back? And more importantly, um, you know that if it is a high risk tumor or not. Yeah, I don't want it to come back. Exactly, so, so that's what I would do. I'd get genetic sequencing of your, of your biopsy 
And, you know, in, in a perfect world, I would get RNA expression testing, but obviously if finances are an issue, uh, you just get genetic sequencing. We have a reduced cost panel that we just use for our patients. It's, it's a lot cheaper than the, the standard tests. Um, so, uh, you know, definitely give Michelle a call and see if she can work something out for you. Okay. Um, and then, you know, if, get the liquid biopsies if, if it's all possible. I think you'll save yourself a lot of problems in the long run by catching it early yes. uh, before it's going to be a big problem. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Adriana. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.